that brings us right to the lucky couple who says they're holding that winning ticket one bought in Munford, Tennessee. Let's just introduce you to John and Lisa Robinson. They're here with their daughter, Tiffany. Also, their attorney, Joe Townsend, and his daughter, Eileen. And they're part of the story as well, which we'll explain. But good morning to good morning, all of guys. you. Good morning, guys. Thank you. How do you feel? Can we see that ticket? <laughs> you keeping it nice well, and close to your pocket, heart? Huh? Yep. <laughs> it ain't, it, it's not going very far. Yeah. <laughs> You've been sleeping with it under your pillow? No, no, no. I ain't, I ain't with that far. <laughs> I just want to say from the outset, guys, you know, you haven't gone to the lottery officials yet in no. Tennessee. So there's no way for us to officially verify that you are the winners. We have done a lot of work to verify right. your employment, where you live. You live right next to the grocery store. We've done a lot. We've talked to your lawyer. But that's why we're just bringing a little bit of saying you guys are claiming to be the winners. Yes. It's not official yet. So I just wanted to get that out. Why, though, did you decide not to go to the lottery officials yet and come to us first? Well, actually, it was his idea. Your lawyer's <laughs> idea. Because you didn't want to, you were worried about going public right, right away. Right, right, right. And what was your thought, Joe? Well, I think the American public wants to hear from them. And even though they want to be private after this is over, they want to, you know, let the public know that they're the winners. Okay. And so we'll get back to the story because it's kind of interesting how you found us. We didn't find you, you found us. But first, let's just talk about Wednesday night. Wednesday Powerball night. Fever. Okay. <laughs> it's almost seven o'clock. The deadline is in two hours. You decide to go to the grocery store. What happened? Actually, I was on my way home from work. Okay. And she had called me and she said, Are you going to stop and get a couple lottery tickets? So I said, I really didn't feel like stopping that night. And I said, Yeah, I'll stop and get, get them. So when I stop and I buy my lottery tickets, I always buy four at a time because there's four members of my family. And I always do a quick pick, single ticket. Okay. Uh, so I went and got my lottery tickets at the grocery store at Nafee's and uh, came home and I wasn't feeling good and I handed the tickets to her. I said, I'm going to go lay down. And take us from there, Lisa. You're watching the, the Powerball and the numbers are coming out. You're holding your ticket. Walk us through that. No, actually, I wrote them down because I had other tickets, his well, other three to look at. So I was like, okay, I'm going to write them down. So I wrote the numbers down and I got to looking and I saw it and I was like, looked again. They're the same. Looked again. And the <laughs> third time I went running down the hallway, John, John, you got to check these numbers. And I startled him because he was asleep on the couch. John, what did you think when you first woke up? Did you believe it? I, she said, check these numbers. And I said, okay. I looked at them and I said, yeah, they look like they're the numbers. <laughs> so I checked them actually four times and I said, well, I'll believe it when the news comes on in the morning and they say, hey, there's a winner been in Munford. So... And so, did you stay up all night? When did you get the news? Uh, yeah, yeah, we were up all night. We didn't get no sleep, and he didn't feel too good anyways. And so, so. the news comes on at 4.30 in the morning, and you, that story's verified? Sure yeah. enough, there's We a don't leave our house. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started seeing the uh, news, the local news networks there hanging out in Montford. They already knew that it was in Montford somewhere. And the store is very close to your house, right? Yes, yes and uh, the media was at all the stores but, but that store. <laughs> where I bought the tickets. <laughs> So what have the last 48 hours been like for you and your family? I mean, are you sitting there dreaming about what we're going to do? Are you excited? Are you scared? Are you elated? Are you nervous? How do you feel? Uh, Actually, a little scared because yeah. I didn't know exactly what to do. Yeah. I knew that I wanted to get an accountant. I knew that I wanted to get a lawyer uh, and try to follow the, the, the procedures that, you know, that they, they tell you to follow, so. My eyes can't uh, go off your right hand there, John, because you're holding, you're holding, you're holding a ticket that could be worth north of $500 million in your front pocket. You're walking around New York City. I'm nervous for you. Good. You can well, score this out here. I'll, now I'll be nervous because everybody knows that I can't walk out of here. You lose your anonymity. When will you go to the lottery officials? We're leaving well, we straight from here. here. Yeah. But Lisa, have you let yourself dream about what this means for you and your life? Uh, a couple of things. Sally Mae's paid off. Yeah, it's good loans. <laughs> Bye-bye for you, Tiffany. But yeah. other than that, no, we haven't had time to really, you know, no. I do hope to plan on working for a little while. Yeah, so. we saw you said you might be back to work on Monday. I'll be there Monday. You must love your job. I do. Actually, I do. Well, it's it's so you. funny. We saw, we heard one end of that conversation where you just called your office administrator and said, I'm not going to be in today. What did she say? 
she was like, did y'all win? Did y'all win? Lisa, I was like, just please watch the Today Show, please. <laughs> She's watching right now if you yes. like to say anything. I hope she is. Well, your story is extraordinary, and I want to say that something else really remarkable happened, which was you were brought into touch with Joe, your lawyer, mm -hmm. who then said, you know, it would make sense to call a national media outlet because then that way you have control over the story. That was your thinking, right, right. Joe? Yes. So you called your daughter, Eileen, who happens to be a reporter in Memphis, and tell us now, Eileen, how you got in touch with us because it's a story too. <laughs> well, I Googled, how do you call NBC? <laughs> 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 and I called and got passed up the line and eventually talked to a producer and they were rightly a little bit suspicious <laughs> and we talked through it and um, decided to make it happen. Wow. <laughs> you called our switchboard. I'm sorry. By the way, we're giving a raise to whoever answers yes. the phones at any uh, who, who in your world knows right now? Just our immediate family. Just our immediate Besides family. everybody watching. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody, everybody now knows. knows. Just your immediate family knew up until yes. a few minutes well, ago. Well, the, the, when we verified it that morning at 4.30, I tried to get her over to the house. <laughs> I tried to tell her, hey, I need, uh, it was some Advil or something. Uh, I need you to bring them over to my, because she lives down the road from us. I said, I need you to bring them to the house. Well, she didn't bring them to the house. She got somebody else to bring them to the house. So I had to stop what I was doing. I had to go over to her house. And me and her mother sit down and said, listen, we got to talk to you. And, and Tiffany, uh, what did you think when you heard this? I was excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> did you Google how much are private jets? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't actually know anything really at that point. I went into work, so I worked all day. <laughs> yeah, it must you, be hard to be. I mean, Mumford's not a huge town. Will you I move? Mean, he, no, <laughs> we hope not to. I, I hope not to move. I'm. We've been there uh, forever. Yeah. But I've have you had there. friends saying, hey, what's going on? Who oh, do you yes. think won the lottery? <laughs> and that's right. yeah. We had I to had ignore a lot of calls, and we had to ignore because we didn't want to have to, you know. A lot of Texas. Yeah. Oh, that's an extraordinary story. Well, I have to tell you, I do um, have some family in Tennessee, so it's possible we're fourth or fifth cousins. <laughs> we may need them to hide out. Okay, good, thing, good to know. Well, John and Lisa, congratulations to you, Joe and Eileen and Tiffany. Thank, thank you for you. bringing us this story. Keep us posted. and um, Best of luck to we'll you. We'll try to get you thank out of here. You. In Don't forget about us. <laughs> Don't forget about us. Thanks for having us. Thank right, you so much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.